今年的两会上，有一个词出现的频率很高，那就是清。In this year's report on the work of the government and the draft of the 12th five-year plan, energy saving and environmental protection have been emphasized again and again. Today, let's focus on the new energy topic. The proportion of non-fossil fuels in total energy consumption in China will be increased to 11.4 percent over the next five-year period. In other words, the state will make efforts to cut oil consumption during the 12th five-year period. To some degree, the development of new energy is a key factor in determining whether our economy can sustain its continued growth and successful economic development and restructuring. China's new energy sector is expected to accelerate in the next five years, offering huge development opportunities for Chinese foreign cooperation. From interviews with top foreign executives, our reporters found that they were all very confident about the future prospects for new energy cooperation with Chinese companies. In order for things to scale, they have to be inexpensive enough that they actually work without the government giving away money to make them work. So now that we see that、um, wind is now in in line with fossil fuels, if you do it right, if it's in windy places and if the transmission lines are somewhat, you know, somewhat somewhat there, it's it's very very cost effective.、Um, and the others are getting closer. So and that's only possible with advancing technology and innovative manufacturing and basically. That means China. We are working on a project in Inner Mongolia with our Chinese partners. This project takes full advantage of the abundant wind in Inner Mongolia to replace coal. Over 25 percent of the electricity is generated from new energy. China's aluminum industry represents the future. As far as I'm concerned, it will offer a huge opportunity for China's manufacturing industry during the 12th five-year period. This is a global role model to promote the development of the aluminum industry through green energy.